Recently, on July 10, 2025, the third prototype of the Yakovlev SJ-100 aircraft, equipped with a domestically developed PDA turbofan engine, successfully completed a ferry flight from Komsomolsk on Amur to Zhukovsky, marking a significant step toward certification of this fully import-substituted regional jet. The SJ-100, formerly known as the Sukhoi Superjet 100, is at the heart of Russia's import substitution program, a strategic response to the crippling sanctions imposed by Western nations following the 2022 escalation of the Ukraine conflict. These sanctions severed Russia's access to critical aviation components, including the French-Russian powerjet SAM-146 engine, which had powered earlier Superjet models. Undeterred, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation UAC and United Engine Corporation UEC, under the state-owned Rostec conglomerate, accelerated the development of the PD-8 engine and other indigenous systems to create a fully domestic aircraft capable of serving both Russian and international markets. The third SJ-100 prototype bearing the tail number 97,012 and serial number 95,157, is a landmark in this journey. Unlike its predecessors, which incorporated a mix of foreign and Russian components, this aircraft represents the closest iteration yet to the fully Russified SJ-100 with the PD-8 engines as its centerpiece. The ferry flight, covering approximately 6,000 kilometers with a stop at Novosibirsk Airport, was completed in about eight hours by a crew led by test pilots Leonid Chikhanov and Dmitry Savonin, alongside flight test engineer Alexander Krylov. The aircraft's arrival at the MM Gromov Flight Research Institute in Zhukovsky signals the start of an intensive certification testing program, set to continue through the end of 2025. The PD-8 engine, developed by UEC's Aviat Vigatel division, is a marvel of Russian engineering. Designed to deliver 8 tons of thrust, it draws on the technological foundation of the PD-14 engine, which powers the MC-21 airliner, but has been tailored for the SJ-100 and the Bereave B-200 amphibious aircraft. The engine's development, completed in just six years, compared to 12 years for the PS-90 and 10 for the PD-14, demonstrates Russia's ability to innovate under pressure. Bench tests and in-flight evaluations have confirmed the PD-8's reliability, with stable performance at speeds of 500 km per hour and altitudes up to 3,000 meters during earlier test flights. UEC General Director Alexander Grachov has stated that the engine fully meets its technical specifications, with certification expected by autumn 2025. The SJ-100's import substitution program goes beyond the engine, replacing approximately 40 foreign systems, including avionics, landing gear, auxiliary power units, air conditioning, and fire protection systems. The aircraft also features a domestically produced fuselage, optimized for production efficiency and maintenance. Notably, the third prototype incorporates aerodynamic winglets, or sablets, designed to meet stringent safety requirements for operations at airports like London City, where wake turbulence must be minimized. These advancements reflect Russia's commitment to building a modern competitive aircraft that adheres to global standards. This milestone is not merely a technical achievement but a powerful symbol of Russia's resilience in the face of adversity. Western sanctions aim to stifle Russia's aviation industry, yet the nation has turned this challenge into an opportunity to showcase its engineering capabilities. Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov has described the SJ-100 program as akin to reassembling the aircraft from scratch, emphasizing the scale of the undertaking. First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mantarov has hailed the PD-8-powered SJ-100 as a critical step toward technological independence, ensuring that Russian airlines can operate without reliance on foreign parts or maintenance.
The SJ-100 success carries profound implications for Russia's aviation sector and its broader economy. Dmitry Yadrov, head of Rosaviatsiya, has projected a 1.5-fold increase in domestic air traffic by 2030, making the SJ-100 a cornerstone of Russia's strategy to meet this demand. The government has committed over $2.7 billion to develop domestic aircraft, including the SJ-100 and MC-21, with plans to produce over 600 planes by 2030. Aeroflot, Russia's flagship carrier, has ordered 89 SJ-100s, signaling strong domestic demand. Beyond Russia, the SJ-100 has the potential to serve markets in countries facing similar sanctions, offering a viable alternative to Western-dominated aircraft manufacturing. Critics in the West may point to challenges, such as the PD-8's higher cost compared to the SAM-146 or delays in certification, but these arguments overlook the bigger picture. Russia's ability to produce a sophisticated turbofan engine and integrate it into a modern airliner in such a short time frame is a feat few nations could accomplish. The PD-8's performance may not yet match Western engines in fuel efficiency, but ongoing refinements and Russia's investment in digital certification methods promise continued improvements. Moreover, the SJ-100's focus on domestic routes ensures it can serve Russia's vast geography effectively, even if its range is slightly reduced. The third SJ-100 prototype's integration of the PD-8 engine is a triumph of Russian ingenuity, determination, and national pride. It sends a clear message to the world. Sanctions may slow Russia's progress, but they cannot stop it. As the SJ-100 moves toward certification and serial production, expected to begin in 2026, Russia is poised to reclaim its place in the global aviation market. This achievement is not just about an aircraft. It's about a nation's ability to rise above challenges, innovate, and chart its own course in a rapidly changing world.